gamers are not all geeks. At least, that's according to top competitive gamer Wilson Chia. You know, like most people, oh. when they when you tell them that oh I'm a gamer and stuff, they'll think that oh you know he must be some gaming freak or something. Do you think that that's the stereotype? Um, no, uh, no. Compared to last time, now it's not that bad. I feel now it's better. Plus now, like like government is opening to games developer de- developing, so encouraging like other forms of gaming stuff uh, instead of gaming uh. So it kind of open up to everyone that there's other things that you can do with gaming also. So now it's not so bad because last time when I met my friends, I told them I was playing tournaments. They were like a bit shocked, a culture shock. Yeah. Then now, now they won't get a culture shock. They were like, oh yeah. Hope you do well in this this so and so tournament. Then they will like Facebook message. Yeah, because sometimes I'll post that I'll, I'm going to China, I'm going to Germany, all this kind of thing. Then they'll be like very supportive. Uh. Yeah. In Korea, right, the gamers there are like they they are super dressed up one. Then they they got uniforms, all this kind of thing. Then they like they got their own style, this kind of thing. Really? Yeah. yeah. Then wow. they appear on TV every single day. So they even drive their own car. Then USA, there's people who own companies because they game. Then they want a lot of things. Then after that, in the end, they open their own company. Then it's sort sort of like, in general, the perspective change because of all these kind of people who are very successful. Yeah. Indeed, Wilson himself is no pushover. In 2007, the soft-spoken young man slapped a teammate during a dispute at the championship gaming series, and ended up being banned from that league. Most of the time, though, Wilson reserves his fiery outbursts for the gaming screen. My strategy would be, I usually have like three kind of different plans or strategy. So if A doesn't work, I'll try B. If it's aggressive, maybe I'll try B, which is slightly more defensive than seeing what he usually do. And C is probably like um, the balance type, which I would usually start off with. So when you go into competitions, is that what you usually start off with? Like you will have three plans already? Yeah, usually I'll start with C actually. More balance. Because you won't know what the opponent is like. So how mm. often do you practice? After I try to practice daily instead of one shot practice a lot. Because daily is like um, consistency. Uh, around two to three hours a day. Two to three hours a day, huh? Then on weekends, do you practice also or do you just play casually? On weekends, usually like five hours with my friends. I started fighting games around 9, I think, the first fighting game. Then, it's like, fighting games, right, there's only 2% in the game. It's not like Counter Strike where you have 10% in the side game. So, one on one, it's like a uh, very even, even ground. Like, both persons start off the same, and both persons start off equally. Then, when you play with each other, you feel that satisfaction when you beat the person with with what you have learned from playing experience. Because when you play with the other person, right, um, it's, he is putting in all his effort. So on the same side, when you, have, you, when you put in the same kind of effort, you feel like it's a very, very good fight. Wilson says the way one fights in a video game is telling of one's character. Let's say the person is in the game, he's very aggressive, he, he don't stop attacking. Those kind of people is usually more in pause. Then they usually think less or act first before they think. Next up, Racer TV speaks to Singapore's youngest professional gamer, 